सो असलकुम गाइज टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू बी डिस्कस द डिज़ाइन ऑफ द बीम कॉलम आफ्टर सॉल्विंग द एग्जाम्पल नंबर टू सो हेयर फॉर द डिज़ाइन ऑफ द कॉलम फॉर द फॉलोइंग डेटा इन दिस पर्टिकुलर एग्जाम्पल द फ्रेम इज़ नॉट गिवन विद द पर्टिकुलर लोड्स एंड द लोड एनालिसिस यू डो नॉट नीड टू बी डन here in x and y direction the braced conditions are given the very first information about this frame is that the given frame is a braced frame in both x and y direction okay so that's what you have to be consider okay so for the stability mean the effective length factor is needed to be calculated based on this information in our mind that it is a braced frame in both x and y direction now your pu is 1.7 1750 kN mt and mntx the no sway conditions mean no translation case in x direction the moment will be 330 kN meter mntx and mlty is equal to 0 why is that so because in x and y direction your brace frame is properly braced so braced mean no sway condition so literal translation is restricted okay so for the no sway condition the sway is uh, is not allowed okay so in that particular case your uh, literal sway condition mean literal translation condition or, or sway conditions will be zero so no moments be there but m and t y will be existing okay so in no sway condition it will be 105 kN meter so k1 x and k1 y okay so in x and y direction so it will be one as the frame is braced in two direction so your lb is given directly as 7.3 meter your cm is given directly as 0.85 meter sorry 0.85 with no units fy yield strength is 250 mega pascal and k1x and l1x and k1y into ly is 7.3 okay so mean uh, there is no mid bracing uh, there is no bracing in the mid height of the column whatever the height of the column is the same is going to be uh, used to multiply with 1 k1x and k1y so what does it mean that is 7.3 is the length of the column okay so it is multiplying with 1 so the same 7.3 you are getting if this is the particular case uh, as input data so now it will be very easy to calculate the p equivalent the p equivalent will be equal to pu plus mux plus mx into plus muy into my so in this particular case in x and y direction you are getting your moments and correspondingly you have to calculate the mx and you have to calculate my for the first trial by following the first trial equations and by applying the 15% magnification you can get the p equivalent okay so p equivalent will be pu plus 15% magnification with the moments it will be 330 okay so 3 330 into 3.39 and that is m value in x direction and the moment in y direction is 105 and the m uh, y will be 6.78 so this is again the 15% magnification this is 15% magnification so finally you are getting 3855 kN your ky ly is 7.3 meters so keeping these two factors in your mind you can have the trial so temporarily we have 360 into 196 but this will not be the first uh, trial uh, for which you can start with the calculations before that you have to go for mx and my by using the other set of the equations in which the actual dimensions of the trial section are using uh, you can use so by these set of equations to calculate mx and my again p equivalent needed to be calculated so it comes out to be 3661 kN so then from the column uh, load tables column selection tables the trial section will be 360 into 179 so before using it as a, our first trial you have to find out the rx over R, xy and ky into ly equivalent so this equivalent value of ky ly 4.37 comes out to be less than ky ly so you can use it very easily so it will be 360 into 179 as your first trial section so for your easiness or convenience you can enlist the data for w36179 section all of the corresponding values that may be used 
uh, at later stages for the calculation of the different uh, factors and parameters so your cm is 0.85 it is given so it is going to be reduce your calculations that you do not need to be calculate cm So you have given x into Lx 7.3 and you have Rx 158 and K1 by Ly is 7.3 same and Ry is 95. So you can get the R value slenderness ratio comes out to be maximum out of these two. So it will be 77. So it is less than 200. Your check is satisfied. If your check is satisfied then from corresponding to that you can get your 5 CFCR uh, from the table it will be 164.32. So if this is the particular case, AG is already with you. So you can calculate the PC value. Keep this PC value with you. Again, it will be the first uh, parameter used in interaction equation. Now PE1X and PE1Y. So no B2 involved over here. So for B1X, CM is already given. So you have the formula sigma PNT divided by PE1X okay so sigma p and t mean all of the vertical loads applying on all of the columns in that particular story so you have the one column and 1750 is the load so this is only is going to give you the answer so you're getting 0.93 so your 0.93 is less than one and you are going to be used at least the value of the b1 equal to one so you have to consider it as one similarly for b1 y you are going to be use the equation uh, by using pe one y only in denominator rest will remain same you're getting 1.10 so your 1.10 is greater than 1 so it will be okay so you are using the same value pr is not magnified as plt as i have told you so your plt will be equal to 0 lt case is not considered over here so only the no sway case uh, then you have no translation case so you have mrx equal to b1x into m and tx and mry will be equal to b1y into m and uh, ty so you are getting your answer as 115.5 and 330 kilonewtons meter so corresponding to that you can get uh, calculate your capacity mcy and rest of the checks will remain same for the compact section and finally you are getting your ratio checking if pr over pc is equal to 0.467 it is greater than 0.2 So if it is greater than 0.2 then you are using uh, this interaction equation and you are getting your answer as 1.139. So here you can see uh, the difference from the, uh, the first one, uh, the example number one that the y directional movements are also considered over here. Okay, for no sway case of course, but finally MR will give you the answer. Okay, so if the little conditions be there then you have to be calculate B2 also and you have to calculate LT movements in LT and you have to apply the movement magnification with PLT and MLT also and find in X and Y both directions and finally you can get MR so for both X and Y directions similarly like here okay so here you have both of the movement factors movement parameters in the interaction equation and finally the trial section number two uh, you have to of course if it will be more than one then you have to use the stronger section okay so again you can enlist the data and rest of the procedure will remain same you have the r values corresponding to that you have pc value pe1x pe1y will remain same b1x you have to calculate it will be remain same and you are calculating the capacity and then again pr over pc it is again 1.025 greater than 1 Now revise the section with the again stronger section. Rest of the procedure will remain same. So here after solving the interaction equation you are getting 0.889. It is less than 1. So finally you are getting a W360 into 260 this section. This will be your final section. Now come to the frame analysis design part. In design part, 
in detail uh, in online session we have discussed that uh, which uh, problem you have to be followed you have to follow the problem in chapter number 10 of the book doc by dr zaid ahmed Siddiqui. the problem number six you have to adopt okay so i have told you in detail about the r value how to calculate it depending upon those you can get the corresponding dimensions uh, and different factors input data you can calculate mean the bay length of the frame the column height and uh, in the perpendicular directions the from frame to frame in lateral direction what is the difference center to center what is the difference between the part lens placed on the beam main girder of the frame that is the center to center distance you can calculate and uh, similarly uh, you may have the load combinations I mean load analysis you have to run you have to be uh, do by yourself okay so the procedure steps will remain same uh, but you have to follow those and also i have told you that the even number roll number students have to use a different end conditions and the odd number roll number students have to follow the different end conditions here uh, we have to discuss that the load combinations uh, you are considering for your design part as three road combinations 1.2 dead load and 1.6 live 1.2 dead one live and 1.3 revend and for the third point d or 9 d only the dead load plus 1.3 w and for the load analysis you are going to be used directly the frame number one for the gravity loads okay only and for the frame two is used for the wind load analysis sway condition and uh, for the the frame six is going to be used for the notional load analysis so the gravity load analysis has been done by using frame one uh, given in LRFD manual later load analysis has been done by using the wind mean wind load analysis has been done by using frame number two and the notional load analysis has been done by using frame number six so here you can see depending upon uh, the k value n value okay you can calculate the movement at different points this is point a this is point b this is point c and here is point d for all of the frame this a b c d points will remain same so here you can see in uh, uh, for the frame one that one frame has been analyzed for the fixed conditions and for the other frame has been uh, designed uh, has been an uh, analyzed uh, for the hinge conditions okay for both of the end conditions the frame has been analyzed so finally you can get the movements uh, and the vertical and horizontal reactions of this movement uh, of this particular frame sorry and you can get the answers directly So number of analysis what you have to done for the gravity loads of course there is no wind load so no lateral load I mean frame 2 is not going to be used you have to uh, do the gravity load analysis and notional load analysis so only you are going to be use frame number 1 and frame number 6 and for the second load combination you have the gravity loads dead and live both okay gravity load includes dead and life both so what does it means it is going to be uh, considered number one the gravity load analysis by using the frame number one notional load analysis by using frame number two and later load analysis uh, sorry notional load analysis by using frame number six and later load analysis for by the frame number and third load combination having a 0.9 dead and 1.3 so wind so for the later load analysis you have already the factor 1.3 w but for the gravity you have already 0.9 d but for the notional load our uh, condition is not satisfied because no i have told you in lecture number uh, this start of this lecture uh, sorry the start of the lecture number three uh, that the, the, the definition of the notion loaded it is a portion of or a certain percentage of the gravity load and it will be a combination of the factor the dead load and live load so here only dead loads are there so no live load so conditions are not satisfied for the notion load calculation so you are not going to be use the notion load analysis over here just the gravity load analysis frame one and later load analysis for frame two 